So here's where we left off with drawing the nose and the mouth. Okay, so now you see you can see that I've added a little bit of shading around the chin, a little bit on on the left side of the face, well, our right. And you want to think of the area around the lips as kind of sticking out, it's protruding. Think back to the skull. The face is wrapped around essentially an egg shape. So there are the nose, the mouth is kind of protruding. So adding a little bit of shading up um, up top near the uh, bridge of the nose, close to the eye sockets. You want to think of the nose kind of like a cone, a cone that's been divided in half. So remember what we talked about earlier that to the left of the nose, there'll be a little bit of shading down the center. In this case, it'll be lighter. And then to the right, there'll be a little bit of shading as well. The nose is tricky because you don't have a lot of line. A lot of it is implied through your shading and it's a gradual shift. You can see I'm barely touching the paper in parts trying to get a lighter shade of the red. And I'm going all one way with my stroke on the nose. Touching up a little bit of the shadows, making sure the shadows really read. Remember that you don't want the whole face to end up looking red. You want to let the gray of the paper show in parts. Um, it's subtly um, using the gray of the paper, making that into a lighter mid-tone value. So you'll notice that right below the nose, there's a little bit of shading there from below the nose to the upper lip. There's a little indentation that most of us have that there's a kind of a groove there. That groove is more pronounced on some people than on others. So you do want to just lightly imply that. So that's why there's a light shading right below the nose. And again, you don't want it to look like facial hair. This is a woman we're looking at. So you're just getting it soft. Okay, so going to the lips, you do want it to be darker on the sides, lighter in the center. Think about the light shining um, kind of across the center of the face, illuminating the middle of the nose, also the middle of the lips. And that bottom lip is really catching more light. If you look closely at the lips, there's little lines there. And you don't have to draw every single one, but I'm just slightly implying that. You can see it on the left-hand side. And when I was looking at the lips, I was comparing value to value. So I was looking at the value in the corner of the mouth on the lower lip, comparing it to the upper lip. So you want to think about that term value hierarchy when you're looking at the lips. Where is it darkest? Where is it lightest? Usually on the bottom lip, there's kind of like a pillow part of the bottom lip that's sticking out farther and that's what um, has kind of a little highlight on there. Okay, so just going back down to the chin um, in comparing the values there from the side of the uh, face there to the chin. The chin's actually a little bit darker, so I'm darkening that up. Um, again, this is going to be a form shadow there, so it's going to be a soft shadow. It's not going to be a um, hard shadow. OK, 
getting in a little bit more detail on the nose. There's like a little kind of dot there. I know we're looking at um, a person who has freckles, but we're looking beyond that to just the face beneath. Okay, so now we're going to start applying the white. And we're going to take the same amount of care and effort that we took with the red, with the shadows, in the white. You want to remember, it's better to start off too light. Just go a little bit lighter than you think. You don't want that um, white to be too intense. You can always brighten it up a little bit later. It's better just to go kind of light. And I am going at the same kind of diagonal line that I've been using throughout the piece. So there's a little bit of light catching on her lip over there to, on her left hand side. So you're not necessarily looking for white on the face because there really isn't, but there is light. So you're translating the lightest areas by using white. And the gray kind of represents her actual skin tone. The red, of, of course, is the shadows. So lightly above um, the upper lip and in between the nose. I think I told you guys you want to always um, leave a gap in between the white to the red transitions. Well, actually, in this case, you can work right up to the red. You just don't want to ever go over the red with the white or vice versa. You want to keep those guys apart. So upper lip to the left. So if you look right in between the lips, there's actually a little um, light area right there. So I'm popping that in. You really want to think of the face as 3D. Again, think back to uh, sculptural terms. So the chin is an area that's almost always going to be uh, in light. You want to think of that as a mini sphere right there. It's not sticking out a lot, but it's like a little sphere. It's kind of popping out there. So you want it to be rounded looking. So adding a little bit of white there. It's hard to see the white on here because I'm not pressing that hard. I'm going to save those really powerful bright whites for probably the nose area. Getting a little bit of white on the opposite side. Okay, so now we're going to begin to shade right down the center of the nose. And when you do it, you want it to be a soft white. You're not pressing really hard. It's just a soft light that's illuminating the, the nose. And you want to think about the nose as sticking out furthest from the face. It's the feature that most projects out. So that's why it's, it's hitting the light. And you want to think of the ball of the nose. That's kind of like the, the tip of the nose. That's usually where you're going to have the highlight. So I'm going to kind of pop in a highlight there. Okay, so you can really see there's a highlight on the nose. There's like a bright spot there. Now we're going to go to that lower lip, get a little bit of light there as well. If you have any charcoal or any um, red pastel there, you want to lift it off if you intend to put white there. I'm just putting a little bit of light on that lower lip. There we go. You can kind of um, see where the uh, above up to the nose, you can kind of see where the eye sockets are implied. Um, if you're going to do the whole face, the eye sockets would go there. Just adding a little bit more white at the 
keep looking back and forth at the picture, at my drawing, at the picture, at my drawing. Where is the where is it the lightest? So I'm looking for light, not necessarily white. Okay, so here's the finished piece.